Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. <clears throat> Today's uh, about the 30th of January, and, uh, you know, for about the last 10 days, we've had that cold, overcast, and then today, it's not exactly a bright, sunny day, but the sun is getting through the clouds a little bit, so it actually makes you feel like you might make it towards spring. You might make it. I'm feeling pretty optimistic. But um, on a day like today, I like to reconnect with what I'm doing here. And this is uh, a field, we call this the East Field. And it's the roads right there, house is right there. So these guys are close to us all the time. Um, <clears throat> this group of sows, let's see if we can get a good picture of them. I'm going to put my shades down. They're due, oh, I would say maybe two weeks. But this is a, a good way to gauge that if you look at them. You can see they're showing a little bit. And she's actually dropped some. You'll see a big hollow spot up there by their back when they really drop down. But she, she has dropped somewhat and you know her nipples are hanging down below her fur <clears throat> these guys are um, this is going to be their second time there's three sows in here I started with four and one of them had an unfortunate accident and uh, needed to go to uh, the butchers but and then this is a boar that we've kept because he had some some characteristics that we liked. And uh, you know, this there's, there's still controversy in my house, like hey, his hams are too small and all this stuff, but I like him, his name's Little. And this is gonna be his first group of offspring. So we will see, you know, I believe that, you know, he has all the characteristics that any of the other pigs here have had. And uh, you know, I picked him because I liked him, and but some of the other people around here don't like him as much as I do. So we'll see. We'll see how his, his babies turn out. Um, what I wanted to share right now was something that I've noticed that uh, could be beneficial to other people who are into the pastured pig thing. Um, this group of sows is really not much different than my other groups, except of their proximity to the house and people. So the back door's there. They're seeing people coming and going all the time. Our dogs have, here's a, a pathway here. You can see that pathway, and it goes that way. And our dogs go regularly go through here. So these guys are more part of the on you know the the goings on here than other groups that we have some of the other groups you go out there and the way they look at you it's the first time they've seen a human being and it may only have been several days <clears throat> but with that came you know I can get in there with them right now and they want me to pet them they want that human contact and um, that interests me because you know, some of the other animals that were here are here. When you go in with them, they, they go the other way because they almost treat us like we're aliens, which I guess we are in their world. But this has worked out really good. This is a small field, and it's close to the road. It's close to the house. There goes Obi chasing a car. There he goes. Obi! See, now he's going to have to come up this pathway and he sees me standing here. He's not supposed to do that. That would be another video about the Great Pyrenees and their antics. One of the things that he does is he protects us from cars. And uh, one of the only ways that we can contain him here is with one of those fences that's underground. And those underground fences have a tendency to break in the winter time almost every other winter it, it goes on us and so then the only alternative is to get one of these ones like this 
that when he's doing something like that, you can, you can shock him. But the batteries on that apparently are not working very good. So I got to get that swapped out today. But that's a whole nother subject. So these guys are kind of, I guess we'll call it socialized to us. And I think the way that that may work for us is that um, we could break them up and put them in with another group of sows that is not liking us too well. Well, this is interesting. Look at, look at Obi here. Look at him hiding from me. Hey, what are you doing? He knows he might get a swat for going close to the road. <laughs> you didn't do anything, did you? That's a guilty dog. You're a guilty dog, aren't you? You're guilty of something, aren't you? Go on. Okay. Well, I wanted to share that. This is Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Remember, anyone can farm.